Mr. Bishop. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized for two minutes. I thank the distinguished gentleman for yielding. Um, Madam Speaker, I request permission to revise and extend my remarks. The gentleman's recognized. Madam Speaker, I'd like to thank the Democrat and Republican leadership in both the House and the Senate for their timely consideration of the Vow to Hire Heroes Act of 2011. As the House sponsor of the House Hiring Heroes Act provisions that are in the bill, I'd also like to thank the Chairman and Ranking Members of the House and Senate Veterans Affairs Committees for their outstanding work on this jobs measure, uh, as well as the Chair and Ranking Members of the House Ways and Means Committee. Just as this nation has the responsibility not to leave our soldiers behind on the battlefield, we also have an obligation not to forget our veterans when they return home. Last month, the unemployment rate for veterans who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan was 12 percent. The youngest of veterans, age 18 to 24, had a 30 percent unemployment rate in October. Among African-American veterans, age 18 to 24, the jobless rate is a striking 48 percent. These numbers, Madam Speaker, are unacceptable. H.R. 674 allows us to honor our veterans by ensuring that they have the resources and the tools they need to find suitable and sustainable employment. I urge my colleagues to support H.R. 674 and to provide our nation's veterans with the employment opportunities that they need and that they so rightly deserve. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back the balance of my time.